Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 8th grade concept of modeling one variable equations and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. So we might start seeing some pictures of these one variable equations but the variable is on both sides of the equation and we're going to look at this example here. So we've got these different shapes so you notice that our variables x are in our triangles here and then we've got our constants here, just our ones in the circles, but we have two different colors. And really what they're trying to show you is that the white is going to be your positive. And then if you've got something in green, it's already marked as a negative, but they also use that color to show you that they're negative. So how can we solve this? Well, what we would do is two different ways we can do it. First, we can use just the picture. We'll do that first, and then we can show you how you can translate this easily into an actual equation and just solve it with the equation. So we know that what we want to do is we want to make sure that we have all the variable on one side, and the constants on the other side, right? And so I've got six positive x's over on this left side. And then I've got three positive negative x's on the other side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add three x's to both sides. So if I add three positive x's to my three negative x's, that completely cancels them out. And now I get to add them over here. So I've got all of my x's on the left side, which means now I need to move all of my constants, my 1's, over to the other side. And currently, I've got minus 3 on the left, and I've got a plus 9 on the right. So I'm going to do that same thing. I'm going to add 3 to this left side that's going to cancel itself out because it's got a minus 3 and a plus 3. And in order for it to stay balanced, I need to add 3 to both sides, right? So you, could, you can add the same amount or the same number of variables to either side as long as it's the same on both sides. And so now this is what we have here. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 x's going into these 12 ones and we would have to do a little bit of math and the answer is going to be an improper fraction. So now that we've done it that way and then it's going to be kind of messy for the end, let's see what happens if we just use the numbers. If we can convert this into the equation like I have on the right side. Well, remember what I did first. I added 3x to both sides. It stays balanced as long as you do the same thing to both sides of the equation. So this is going to be 9x minus 3. Those two cancel each other out. Equals 9. And if only we didn't have the minus 3 on the left side, it would be a nice, easy solution. But alas. Now let's add 3 to both sides. Right? That is going to get rid of that right there. So now I've got my variable all by itself. It does have a coefficient, a 9. But now I've got my variable on one side. I've got my constant on the other side. So this is what I ended up with. So 9x equals 12. And that's what I ended up with on the visual here. So how do we solve it? Well, we still need to get that x by itself, right? We want to get 1x. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide both sides by 9. 9 divided by 9 equals 1, so that's just going to leave me with x. So I've got 12 ninths. We can probably clean this up a little bit if we wanted to. Uh, we don't need to make it a decimal. We can leave it as a fraction, but we can at least simplify it, right? Let's divide by 3 over 3. So that's going to be 4 thirds. So x equals 4 thirds is going to be about as clean as we can get, but that's going to look pretty good. So each of those x's equals 4 thirds, and that is our solution.